Hey, what's up guys? Steve here and welcome back to the channel. So today we're back with episode two of Taxi Life where we'll be picking up our first proper passengers um, and hopefully trying to earn some more XP and some more money so we can see what we can upgrade. So let's head on over to where we left off in the last episode. All right, so you'll find us here uh, outside the garage where we were ending the last episode if you haven't caught the last episode the link will be in the top screen now um, but yeah let's um, get ourselves started and we'll try and find ourselves our first job of the day uh, hopefully we'll have a passenger near us relatively soon um, so let's have a look on the map so as you can see here we've got uh, our garage here where we were in last one we've got a interesting point of art uh, and some people uh, that one has to go somewhat round the block so Maybe let's pick this one up the top here. Uh, as you see, it's an easy difficulty with a medium distance length. So hopefully it should be uh, nice and uh, simple and earn us a reasonable amount of money. Um, so let's head on over there. So yeah, I know since we've been here last, uh, there's been a couple of updates to the game. I know there's been a bit more in terms of wheel support and some uh, AI improvements. Um, we'll see if that's made uh, a difference, uh, see if that's something that's, uh, that's improved as we're going forwards. But uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll explore the city a little bit more and uh, as I say, hopefully try and get some more money. So yeah, we're just gonna take, uh, now we're going straight over this one. Ooh, ew, Never mind. Um, yeah, so uh, I believe one of the um, uh, one of the improvements was designed to uh, improve the AI driving um, as well as pedestrians and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we'll uh, that first break in didn't really prove it properly. So yeah, I think we'll probably have to uh, wait and see uh, what the rest of this video is like. Hopefully, we won't end up losing. Uh, too much uh, in the way of points or reputation by uh, by smashing into things um, but yeah we'll take a left here and then we're going to take another left and uh, that will be the person you just see them on the mini map uh, just up there um, so guys I hope you're all well hope you're all well oh, yeah if you're uh, who you're doing well this week um, and had a great one obviously it's a lovely uh, Saturday when this video releases so hope you're enjoying your weekends um, let's head round here and then yeah we got our stop on the left here so uh, i don't know whether this yeah we should be able to do this it looks like it's a two lane road so let's squeeze in here oh mounted the curb a little bit uh, okay now we need to go back a bit yep there you go perfect nope was expecting some sort of dialogue there maybe maybe someone just saying <coughs> hello or something but uh yeah we'll have to wait and see uh, what happens here as i, I believe passengers are supposed to be able to talk to you and ask you questions and uh, get, ask for information uh, on the actual uh, like area and uh, the different places that you're going right cool so we probably need to be uh, we're going straight over so we might be okay what, the, I, is this a traffic light yeah no the traffic lights are green up here so this little Fiat 500 seems to want to cut across us I right, use a bit of the horn just to try and uh, speed these people up this one's turning left but there's okay this the traffic doesn't seem to be bad or maybe that is just design of it maybe it's just the fact that people are not paying attention i suppose like in in real life um that's gonna happen isn't it you're gonna get people that aren't paying too much attention to where they're driving and maybe looking at phones and stuff like that all right so let's take this right lane here because it seems to suggest we want to be in this right lane um, and let's head through now we've got to remember uh, not to speed to use indicators um, not too heavy braking oh. see this is what happens when I start looking at the map and taking my focus off the road um, so yeah so as we go about to say stop taking any accidents although saying that um, didn't deduct us any points uh, normally it takes off XP points I think for when you hit something um, but it didn't take anything off that one so I'm not really sure what happened there um, we'll have to wait and see uh, when we get to the end of the route but as you can see the patience bar in the bottom right is starting to go down a little bit i guess as the traffic is starting to cause issues maybe or maybe my driving is atrocious one or other um but that's causing uh, issues for the passenger but it seems to be pretty good at the top um at the moment and uh, yeah hopefully we should be okay as you can see we've got nearly a uh, thousand meters to go before our next stop so if we make sure that we stick to speed slow down for the speed bumps um yeah we don't want to uh, have them jumping around in the back oh 
and then let's carry on through these lights so lights seem to be quite um, fair to us so far traffic not so much maybe there's another update coming um, or needed shall we say so uh, yeah let's head on down um, I'm not sure what the speed limit is here I sort of noticed that I was doing doing 50 but it doesn't seem to have taken the patience bar down um, maybe I should have uh, noticed if there was a speed sign there saying that it was 40 or 50 but anyway we're going to take a right here and then we've, we're still over 9 or like 800 and something metres away See, this is this this is the AI driving that sort of is slightly annoying because doesn't seem to be any reason why that person would stop there. There is a zebra crossing, but yeah, who knows? Anyway, um, all right. So this is Icaria Avenue. So this is one of the uh, uh, discovery points and the uh, I guess like the architecture that you can find. Um, so yeah, you got uh, that to look at. Oh, let's stop at this red light. So the car in front went through that red light. Um, who knows? Yeah, just there you go. So let's have a look around. So this must be this design in the middle here. Um, it's architecture in the middle. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty cool. We'll try and find maybe a few more in today's episode if we can. Uh, hopefully, try and get a few more XP by uh, by discovering some more of those. Um, sort of architecture bits and pieces or scenery I don't know what you want to call it I'm trying to remember the name of it now but I can't remember um, alright cool so we're carrying on through um, how are we doing for distance so we are uh, about 500 and something 580 ish uh, away patience is still good the passenger seems to still like us and uh, we're not causing too many issues so hopefully we stay that way oh no Right, cool so we're gonna go straight through these lights and another monument on the right or stuff on the right we'll be fine I don't think we'll worry too much about that one all right let's put the handbrake on because we still seem to be rolling backwards um, even with our foot on the brakes so let's go forwards cool next set of lights that van is in the wrong lane no most likely gonna want to come over well let's oh. Okay, so we have a minor collision like that uh, and we lose 25 points and then we have a major collision like we did last time and we didn't lose any. How does that work? All right, you can see the patience bar starting to go down a little bit so we're starting to cause our person a little bit of aggravation. Can you turn on the okay, AC? so they want to turn the AC on so uh, I can't remember how to use the radial menu so uh, it was AC and uh, AC cool there we go no problem okay so what so when you're in the radial menu you still carry on driving despite I had my foot on the brake okay that is really annoying um, yeah I had my foot planted on the brake and it still plowed me into the back of that car I even put the handbrake on and it still planted me into the back of that car. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to be uh, destined to spend most of this episode embedded in the back of the Audi that's in front of us. Because its driving seems to be extremely erratic and it's uh, now stopping to go. Oh my god, it goes so slow. Alright, you stay there. I'm turning left. That's, oh, that's another taxi. Better let him through. Don't want to get taxi rage. Alright, cool. So let's stick in this lane and uh, yeah straight through these lights but yeah it's slightly annoying the fact that even despite me having my I can't believe I paid for such terrible well service. you haven't paid for it yet you can still you know you can still get out if you want to um, but yeah slightly annoying that even with your foot on the brake pedal when using the radial menu it doesn't actually stop you from going forwards so um, slightly annoying but anyway um, yeah alright cool so let's get around this Audi because I've had enough of trying to smash into the back of it at every junction or every traffic lights and then we're heading straight on down uh, how far are we away about 250 meters so let's go what's it doing round to the right okay amazing so again traffic stuck for no apparent reason it's just why is it just stopped there there's nothing there and it's stuck there all right this is something that you know, generally uh, enjoying the game but it, the, the AI driving is something that they need to fix it's not you know that is not a free flowing traffic and there was no reason for that car to be sat there whatsoever um, yeah it was just stopped it just was a standstill anyway <clears throat> so we've got to stop up here on the left so let's uh, we'll make it yeah let's make it in there we'll be fine 
um, it did to suggest that we go around so I don't know whether or not that was ideal but anyway there we go out you get now was I the only one that noticed that that was a female and that we had a male voice anyway um, so this was our route today so we got a four star mark as you can see we got 533 euros um, and a 48 euro tip in, in that price we gained 75 bonus points and as you can see all the good things we did and all the bad things so we apparently jumped to red light I don't remember that one anyway uh, so yeah let's um, let's have a look and see what else there is that we can do uh, not that's the wrong menu I wanted I wanted the no not the radio menu the map menu there we go perfect so <clears throat> As you can see here, we have some progression, so we have some skill points that we can use. Um, so I think in the last one, we suggested we we're gonna use the tourist driving, so we get double the points for the um, finding all these monuments and stuff. Um, so that'd be fine for the minute. And then obviously statistics, you can see there, we've uh, discovered one mon monument and, uh, and yeah, and uh, done a couple of jobs. So there's a person actually waiting here so we could potentially um, either discover a couple of architecture bits and pieces as we go along, um, or oh, wrong bun. <coughs> let's uh, let's no untick that one. There we go. Um, yeah, or we could start. So got the port down here. We could take a drive down to the port and maybe pick up some of these people, or we could head back into the city. Um, you've got sort of the main uh, area in the middle of loads of architecture around that, um, or we could just pick this person up here. So uh, Mrs. Aguilera. Okay. So um, obviously a relative of Christina. Uh, who knows? Um, all right, cool. So we'll let her get in. Hopefully she's not as fussy as the last one. And then, yeah, we'll head uh, head on to this route. As I say, it's only about a thousand meters. So it's not, it's quite a short route actually compared to the last one. Uh, hopefully we um, we get some, some half decent tips on this one. Cool, so let's mind the people on the zebra crossing. We don't want to run anyone over yet. And yeah, let's head on over. So it's a 50 zone, so we can head up to 50 here. And yeah, this is taking us effectively, I think, down the seafront, beachfront, promenade, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, so why is the patience going down so quickly? So I know we're speeding a little bit. Actually, we're speeding quite a lot. I need to slow down. So let's uh, let's be careful of. Yeah, oh, we got a speeding ticket. Okay. Um, all right, perfect. So didn't even see the sign there for the speed camera so let's slow down and as you see unfortunately that speeding has somewhat taken uh, quite a lot of her patience away I don't know why it would affect someone's patience um, surely you'd want to get there quicker um, and not want to uh, be late for whatever it was you're meeting or you know seeing friends or whatever but yeah all the taxis I seem to have been in in foreign countries seems to be a, a, a race across uh, across town to see who can get there the first and uh, and how many more jobs they can get in so whoa, whoa 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 okay hold on you were coming out anyway weren't you okay you didn't even see that stop sign all right anyway there's more speed bumps so let's go gently over the speed bumps and uh, let's keep going over again and then one more so let's slow down here so as you can see we're in like I guess this is the older part of town because a lot of the roads are very small and very um, in between buildings very tight and uh, we need to take one on the right in a minute so I'm trying to work with the GPS to see which one I'm supposed to take so that's a no entry so it's not that one uh, okay that's a dirty zone so should we take this one yeah let's take this one. Oh, so let's get in that one and be careful we don't hit the bins on the way through there we go and then yeah you've got this little really little um, tiny little lanes as they go along and they're all sort of cross patterns so hopefully there's nothing coming from the right and then we're going straight over and so we can't turn right here so hopefully there's nothing there no that's cool and then lots of bikes and like an open square on the left and straight over again and there's no left turn there so hopefully we're not uh, going against traffic, but uh, yeah, it seems to be okay. There's no, there's no no entry signs, so hopefully we're okay here. Cool. This is very challenging, isn't it? Could you as I say imagine this with uh, on on bus? And could you imagine driving a bus down here? It wouldn't uh, wouldn't work very well, would it? Anyway, cool. Let's take a left here. Hopefully there's nothing coming from the right. All right, mind the curb, the cars, and everything else that seem to be dotted around. It's definitely a challenge when you get to this part of town, isn't it? 
All right, so green light, so we'll take a right. Doesn't seem to be merging, so that's fine. There wasn't too much traffic there. Um, and then we're following this road all the way around. Whoa, okay. Breaking just a little bit too sharply for me. All right, let's let this person cross. Nope, let's go. Okay. Wasn't paying attention there. Probably should have been. All right, so follow this round. There's another monument on the left. Um, for us to discover, we'll maybe come back for that in a little bit. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll drop this lady off first and then we'll come back and have a look. Cool, come on, lights have gone green. Let's go. Yeah, they're like half asleep, some of these drivers. All right, amazing. And then straight over. And where are we going? We're going straight up. Yep, straight up. And let's take this right lane. I think we should be okay for this one because we are going across. Yeah, looks like we're going across. So you can see just on the mini map, just on the right hand side, there is a accident there. Um, just to the right hand side, you can see the little car. Um, so that's one of the random events, I think, that come up, um, which are designed to impede your day and your driving and time that's keeping and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, we should be able to come, if it's still there when we finished, um, should be able to come back and find that. So let's um, let's come here. We're almost at drop off point, so let's head on over. You can see the drop off point just here on the right. It appears to be quite significantly on the curb, so let's try not to run the pedestrian over that's walking behind it. Amazing. There we go. Oh, all right, perfect. Nope, still no voice. Okay, so. Uh, pass mark was four. Our uh, bonus XP was uh, fifty, and you can see we were okay with uh, blinkers, uh, respected areas. So we drove against traffic flow. When did we drive against the traffic flow? Um, okay, and uh, obviously quite considerably we broke speed limit, so that was uh, not to be expected. But um, yeah, that's a weird one. I don't remember going down a one-way road. Um, so. We gained 259 euros um, and we only gained 50 bonus. Um, so anyway, that was, uh, I think it was a total of 100 that we could do. So uh, yeah, so that that's probably gonna be the, um, in terms of people, probably the last person we pick up today. I want to try and find some of these monuments. So that's the accident that we mentioned there. Um, there are a couple of monuments around here. So there's a, a garage down here and then there's about five or six in this same area. Um, so as well as loads up here. So this goes into the um, sort of the main gardens and stuff like that at the top there. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I think we'll probably what we'll do um, is try and find some of these interesting pieces of architecture and, uh, and and we'll show you the crash and maybe sort of head round from there. So I don't think there's much point in picking this person up again. It's just same much of a muchness at the moment with, uh, with, with, with jobs. So same with that one, that's quite different and that's a short length so yeah they're all sort of short and medium lengths uh, at the moment so maybe as we get longer routes we'll be able to uh, uh, you know have a bit more of a challenge or I suppose timekeeping will be a bit more of a problem so all right let's um let's head on over to one of these monuments and then we can sort of see um, what you get for them there's one in the top back there it's not letting me click on it so I'm guessing I'm too far away from it so um, we might have to no it's still not letting me click on it in first person either so yeah might have to just head round the map and uh, or sorry round the roads and uh, and have a look at it so let's set a waypoint um, which one should we do there's a couple around here isn't there maybe do that one first that is yeah this that's probably easier to get to than the other one so let's get to that one first and then we can head to the other one and then probably go from there in terms of having a look at maybe what's on the um on at the accident scene so as you can see we've now also got uh, dirt on the car um we've got a bug splattered on the windscreen which is which is pretty cool um so we'll need a wash at some point i guess cleanliness is also something that will affect tips and condition of the car and stuff like that will as well um, we're about three quarters of a tank of fuel so that's uh, that's plenty for the minute um, and then yeah this, uh, this sort of first or this monument is up here on the left somewhere so let's gently abandon it so guessing it's wherever's behind this bollard yeah monument of general did that say monument of general joseph moregs so uh yeah so i guess 
I guess it's that thing there. Maybe we'll head, yeah, it looks like it's that thing there. Let's head around the other side though. Um, have a look and see if there's anything else that we can see around the other side. So let's, um, oh, that, okay, that car's gonna cut me up. All right, so we'll wait for this traffic to sort of move itself and then move around the other side and see if there was uh, anything more to look at from the far side. Um, I don't know if there is, but it seems to be that I should have picked it from this side because, oh no, we're not going backwards, go forwards. There we go, perfect. Yeah, still haven't got the hang of this uh, gearbox setting. Um, why is this part? Actually, we have gone to a red light. So we've been waiting here so long that it went to a red light while we're waiting for these people to drive. Oh, so, come on in. Let's go. There we go. Plenty of horn. That'll make people move. Right, cool. And we go to the left. And we also need a left turn here. So, sorry, we're not going to abide by t uh, road rules for the minute. I just need to try and find this monument. So up on the pavement try not to mow anyone down perfect so is it any better to see this side uh no i think it's actually worse this side so anyway so that was the uh, that was the monument there which is buried into the ground so let's collect that so you can see you got another 200 xp so we're just over a thousand um and uh yeah that will be uh That'd be good. So we'll get the next one. You can see a little che che check box, tick box um, there just to say that we've got it. Um, don't get any skill points. So I guess the next skill points are at the next level. So we we are here um, and it tells you a little bit about it. So it's a bronze sculpture. And then you got the next one there. So yeah, it's really good that they tell you a little bit about each monument, what it does, what it is um, and what it relates to. Oh, sorry, there goes the sign. Um, anyway, yeah, so let's head round and then we're going to take a left and then head round uh, pretty much back where we came from so excuse the driving and the poor quality of said driving actually you're probably used to it by now i was a police car drive, sl drive slowly act normal nothing's happening um although to be fair it's a police prius by the looks of it so you know i think you could probably get away from that on foot yeah it does look like a prius doesn't it yeah you could probably run faster than the prius all right, come on, let's move this traffic. Shame both lanes don't go left because there's plenty of uh, space on the left when you go round. Like two or three lanes, but I'm not going to risk it just in case we get a ticket from that police car being in the same area. All right, so talk about yourselves for a second while we wait for this, uh, this traffic to keep moving. Probably lights are going to go red by the time we get here as well. All right, cool. Well, no, they're green. And then they're, let's see now they've got red. Okay. I know it's supposed to be an urban game, but uh, yeah, it's uh, always waiting on the lights is, is something that's just a, a, a tad annoying. Anyway, all right, cool. So we can now finally go around to the left. There we go. And then we're going straight through the next set of lights. Amazing. So this one's actually gone green just as we've got here. Another taxi driver. One of our rivals, probably. Oh no, what is this car doing in front? All right, anyway, so let's, uh, let's head on over. And then I think I say we're going to go left at the end because this is where the monument is on the left-hand side. Oh, God, what is he doing? There's bollards there. You can't turn right there. Quite clearly got in the wrong lane and now wants to go right on a lane that is apparently left turn only. So quality of driving is amazing, he says, as he gets in a lane that's supposed to be straight on and actually turns left. So who knows? All right. Well, this is the next one here, which is the Fountain of Catalan something. I didn't see that all entirely. Um, let's have a quick look. So, the Fountain of the Catalan Genius. So, let's collect that one. Here we go. Perfect. So, another one collected. Um, looks very pretty. If only I could do um, screenshots or um, have photo mode, and it'd be great. You can see the car's quite beaten up in that last picture. Yeah, it'd be great to have photo mode in this. Could you imagine you're getting... Um, all of these um, different uh, like scenes and stuff and you could uh, you know you could get some really nice screenshots but no unfortunately they decided they didn't want to do photo mode anyway here's the accident here so let's uh, do a quick u-turn let's have a look and see what the accident looks like you never know might be able to pick someone up all right cool so uh, that person is uh, emergency services person there is telling us to go the other way okay so he sent me to go right instead of left anyway so oh that's yeah so as you see i'm not going to make assumptions here but two of the worst driving cars that we've seen so far in this episode um are the ones that have crashed together so 
yeah um, quite interesting that I quite like that it's quite good uh, um, sort of like scene there and it's obviously blocking off two, two of the lanes um, we've got the police Prius there and a queue of traffic behind me um, so they're taking statements there's people arguing um, I don't know if they're arguing with each other but yeah so that's pretty cool I quite like that that's uh, an interesting uh, kind of um, scene I guess to uh, to make things different oh. Kept the handbrake on. Sorry, sorry, officer. We're not we're not handbrake turning all the way down the road, but let's get out of the way so we don't stop traffic. Um, right, and the car behind doesn't seem to know what to do either because that's trying to drive into a bollard. Um, okay, cool. That's um, that's good. That that seems to be working out quite well. Um, yeah, it's not because I'm there. Um, all you can do is reverse burnout. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it's not me. So, um, all right, let's. Uh, I think that's shown pretty much that. Is there any, any, anything else that we can do in today's episode? What else have we got? Okay, so there's one more monument we could look at, um, which is there. So let's head on down to that, and I think that will probably uh, fulfill enough time in today's episode to uh, to get us some XP and, uh, as I say, have carried out a few jobs. And, uh, well, hold on there. Um, yeah, and see a different part of the city. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it's just up here on the right. All right, green lights... Light like, traffic lights have been quite good to us since I started moaning about them. And then let's pull around here. And then let's just pull up here on the right. Uh, try not to run this per excuse me. Try not to run this person over. And it is there. So this is the no, I can't pronounce that. Idrissa Dalio Square. Again, probably uh, pronounce that horrendously, so sorry if I have. Um, so let's move forward a little bit, let that car try and go around us. No, still not gonna do it probably should turn the handbrake off but yeah part of me the childlike part of me is enjoying the uh, massive long uh, skid marks that we're making down the road well it's not because it's disappearing but anyway um but yeah there you go so this would make a perfect screenshot or perfect uh, thumbnail but again no photo mode so i can't do it so all right guys so i think we'll probably leave today's episode there you can see that we've quite badly damaged the car it needs a wash it needs some fuel so i think that will probably be the first thing that we do in the next episode so guys if you have enjoyed today's episode please smash that like button if you've enjoyed the series um, and aren't already subscribed to the channel then please do click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell notification icon so you can be updated when new episodes come out and as always guys if there's any questions queries comments or suggestions for future episodes please put those in the comment section down below but guys thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you all again soon take care bye so can we just stay?